Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Haight here, Independent Sensi Consultant, back with you again today. I'm still Dale. And I have my um, Sensi Club order. It's my quarterly club. Normally it's not, well, it hasn't been this large recently. Um, there are 60 bars here, plus um, a half price item, which is the December Whiff Box. Um, it's practically Christmas, so um, if you stay to the end, we'll go through it. I'm sure you've seen it from other channels. I did get this on Monday. No, Tuesday. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday. Monday. Monday. I think it was no, sitting it was here Monday. for me, and I was going to yeah. record it on Tuesday, and then wasn't feeling well <laughs> for a couple days. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So here we are with it, and um, we're going to go through these real quick try to make it kind of quick. Here's our Christmas setup. <laughs> um, and we're in a little bit different spot. At the time that I set all this stuff up, all of the kittens and cat, like outdoor, they were under the table and on the chairs. And I was like, well, let's just do it out here and have the living room as the scenery. And then they all moved. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, we had, we had to do a major rescue operation because we're coming into single digit temperatures. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they walked in <laughs> while I was going to take food out, and I just let all six walk in. <laughs> um, and a couple escaped, and so I waited for them to come back. And not escaped, but they went back out. They, As I was shutting the door, a few, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but one of them, the little Start tiny adopted. fluffiest one, mm -hmm. um, did receive a home. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for a home for a mom and two kittens. Mm -hmm. Um yeah so far so and the mom and the two kittens are polydactyl which means they have lots of toes and some of them have like seven or eight toes <laughs> so anyways let's get to it so um the first bar um it's we'll let dale explain it i'm closer to the camera yeah yeah it's gonna be cozy fireside i have to smell them too <laughs> Definitely. Oh, oh, this is, this is nice. I like this. This is really, uh, it's a pretty strong scent, but it's really, is it cinnamon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Red hot cinnamon and clove. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I smell the cloves. Oh, I do. Um, that's one of my all time favorites. Um, I've had it in my club since it left the catalog a year or two ago. Um, the next one will be almond croissant um i saved it because it's a great mixer i get um captain crunch cereal but <laughs> i can see that because the very tail end of it you can smell that little not on the bottoms but the bottoms a little bit stronger that's really lovely beautiful packaging yeah yeah it's cute artwork yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, if it what if it wasn't for the fact that like mixed with like blueberry rush, it makes like a blueberry muffin or something like that. I may not save it, but that's why I could save because it's a great mixer. I don't really love 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 it on its own because I don't need the cereal smell. Um, this is spiced eggnog, last year's holiday brick. The only that. one that I you saved. Have a big, you have a brick. I still have a little bit of that brick, <laughs> half a brick maybe. Yeah, it's but really nice. Yeah, so that one's still in my club. Mm -hmm. And, which I think it smells authentic. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Like like a carton of eggnog from the mm -hmm. grocery store. I yeah. don't get any alcohol notes or anything like that. Um, this is Blue Christmas. I've had this saved in my club since, um, since it was a sense of the season mm -hmm. when I first started. But, because um, I get like the blue spruce. Well, it's not blue spruce. I think it's something else. Um, I think blue, blue Christmas. It's so got a fur. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. fur, maybe. Like Douglas fur. I'm glad he knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're all trees to me. Which um, is which is native to the northwestern part of our country in southwestern mm -hmm. Canada. But yeah, and it's got like an orange chapstick kind of smell with it. It just reminds me of Christmas when I was little. Um, but yeah, so that stayed in my club and it's now currently a sense of the season. If you want that, um, put that in your club. You have till the end of the month. <laughs> about a week um clove and cinnamon current um sense of the season now to me this is um clove and cinnamon but it's more like the like that's whole cloves cozy fireside this is powdered cloves it smells like uh 
To me, it smells like the uh, um, cranberry sauce. Huh? The cranberry sauce that you make with the cloves. It's got yeah. ginger in it. Yeah. And, well, no. This one has ginger in it. A cozy Fireside has ginger. I don't smell mm. ginger. Personally. I just get whole cloves. I like but this. Yeah. It's, yeah. And so I put that in my club. And then I have the um, Sense of the Season version of Cozy Fireside. Because you can never have too much. Now, <laughs> I will not be keeping both. I'll just have to decide which I want. Mm. Wow. And then from Summer Catalog, I've saved Pini Colada Cha Cha. That's one of my personal favorites. Pini Colada Cha Cha. And it's like a uh, virgin. <laughs> Pini, Col Vin Pini Colada Cha Cha drink. I don't get an alcohol note personally. It's what we raised our daughter on was a virgin Pina Colada. <laughs> <laughs> it's like her favorite thing. <laughs> that was the taste of that. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. And they're giving him a little more light because <laughs> I'm closer and I'm getting more. Um, <laughs> and then we all know I love Lush Gardenia. I think it's exotic, creamy. Oh, I love that thing. So that gets saved by me every year from the spring summer catalog. Yeah, it's not because it's, it's. I thought you, know, you liked it. I do. <laughs> this is a little powdery smelling though. See, I don't get it, like old lady powdery smell. But I do like it. I'm not. It just it took me by surprise because we were smelling all of these flavored ones, you know, and the, and like these would be like things you could eat. You wouldn't want to eat gardenias. Not Anyways, <laughs> um, lilacs and violets. I also see this. I'm a floral fan, um, and it's authentic to me, and I love the flowers. So, oh, this is really nice. I like that one more apparently. Well, now my. I'm, my senses are moving more toward floral. Okay, well, we're going to jump all around. <coughs> Excuse you. me, wow. I'm apparently allergic to it. <laughs> um, be fabulous. This was a, um, a scent of the month. And I keep this because I don't trust them with scent of the month that make it to catalog because they're here and gone. And so I saved that one. That's like grapefruit and lemon, I think. Yeah. Lemoncello and grapefruit. Yeah. It's very nice. Limoncello. I like that. Limoncello. It's Italian. Or <laughs> a cello. Um, this is one of the first bars I've ever put in my club. And I, I thank goodness I saved it because it's like sunshine in a wax bar. Welcome summer. It's like a fruity floral. And I'm obsessed with it. I have like a million bars. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, this is really you know, I got a bunch out of clearance. I'm like, yay! <laughs> Welcome to summer party. <laughs> um, phew, holy sexy scent. <laughs> Pondfire Beach. Here oh, we gee. go. Here we go. I saved that one all the time, too. Whoa. Super sexy. <laughs> if you ask me. Why am I so bright? Well, I always thought you were pretty bright. I don't know why bright. I'm so bright. <laughs> you are pretty bright. You're washed out and he looks oh. tan. Well, <laughs> what can I do? I've been to the islands. No. No. Um, aloe vera and ivy, another um, scent of the month that I don't trust them. It's gone now and it's not coming back. That's one reason why I don't trust them. Because hmm. that was not in the catalog very long. I get like watermelon. Mm -hmm. That's good. Like the rind. That's what I, what I smell. Yeah. I, I think it smells like watermelon and I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> um, yes. Over Moana, which is a little more fruity than the watermelon. Also watermelon, I save aloe vera and ivy. Um, lemon sorbet, it's very authentic. It's my favorite lemon ever. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's very authentic if yeah. you've ever eaten lemon sorbet. This is really good. And one of the first bring back my bars. Um, this is stayed in my club from there. This is Plum and White Woods. Oh, gorgeous. Love that. It's very wintry, perfumey kind of body care scent. It, it's like sophisticated to me. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's very ritzy smelling. Yeah. Ritzy. That's beautiful. Very, oh. very refreshing. Great, fresh smell. And 
<laughs> Mahalo coconut. Um, I saved it this catalog because last winter I melted it and um, which, this one's a little wet coming to me. Hmm. Wet. Um, before it even got to me, but that's fine. Um, yeah, it's like, it, that's a beautiful coconut. It's like a coconut and slightly floral from like the Hawaiian lei. Um, and we melted that last year in the bedroom and I absolutely fell in love with it from doing it in the winter after all the spicy stuff. It's really nice. The, it's really hard not to watch the kittens because they absolutely love playing. Yeah, if you see us looking over there, <laughs> it's because they're distracting us. And because they have so many toes, it's kind of like they have gloves and they... Oh, and, they come and then and they carry, carry, it carry toys around. Wish you could see it, but we don't have that kind of cute. camera. <laughs> <laughs> super cute. Um, and apricot vanilla. Um, this is Heidi Thompson's, one of her favorites. Oh, and I love that. I have great performance. It smells like Perry's peach ice cream to me. It does. I love it. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. Even though it says apricot, I get peach. Yeah. And it's it's not a peach that smells like Play-Doh to me. I think it's because of the combination with the vanilla that, that brings that. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Um, oats and honey, a fairly recent bring back my bar. Love this. Love it on its own. Amazing mixer. Oh, yeah, that's a been, keeper. It's been really good. <laughs> it's a keeper. I wish I still had toffee butter crunch. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, with all of my mishap with my club, they put some stuff back and then they forgot to put that one and they won't put it back. It doesn't doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, so vote that vote toffee butter crunch back. Um, this is pink haze, one of the recent bring back my bars. <sighs> I get like pink, like strawberry cotton candy. And that's why I love that one. Mm. Yeah, this it's is really pleasant. Great mixer, and it's just amazing on its own. I love it. It's not a strong, strong performer, but I love it. Thank Banana you. nut bread, like one of the very first Scentsy Scents ever. I think this is what they bought the company with. <laughs> oh, and to me, it's like authentic banana bread. I'm obsessed. It really is. Oh, yeah, this is very nice. Mm. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> I always feel like I'm baking banana bread, which I haven't melted that one in a while. Um, Palo Santo. I love it. To me, it's a sweet, sweet wood. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love it as a mixer. I love it on its own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've used the squid I, I like that. It's really good. Yep. It's so good. Uh, um, I'm very agreeable tonight. Are you? Yeah. Well, that first one hit me because it, it, it was the changeover, but you know, I feel very This one might hit, yeah. <laughs> Bubblegum, <laughs> recent uh, Bring Back My Bar. I love this. Bubblegum. Did you see him roll his eyeballs? Yeah, how I feel about Bubblegum. I thought you liked it on Warm. I did love it on Warm. <laughs> but smelling it like this, I don't like it as well. But you, when it. you warm it, it's wonderful. Mm, it's amazing. Great performer. I, I have a youthful... Spirit. You do. You do. You, yeah, you're, you mean you're like a little kid. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, that's a good thing. Sign of the month that made it to catalog. Don't trust them. Palm trees and ocean breeze. Did, oh, no. Yeah. Did this? No, this did not make it to catalog. I don't remember. It's in my club. It smells like physique shampoo. I'm obsessed with it. I won't get rid of that one for a long, long time. It was a scent of the month. I don't know if it made it to catalog or not. It's not in your hair. No, you, I don't have to see shampoo. Oh, okay. You can't get the Zeke shampoo anymore. <laughs> oh, is that right? Really? Oh. Yeah, I've looked at Walmart. Know. It's not mm. there. And on Amazon. It's not there. Mm. Um, well, you can get someone who's selling it for a ridiculous amount. And I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> $600 a bottle. Yeah. Havana Cabana. To me, it's a banana popsicle. has a little pineapple, but I smell a lot of banana popsicle, and I love that one. Great performance for me. This is nice. Worked out better Very than nice. banana berry and all those for me personally. Um, Atlantic air, still like fresh, clean air to me. Oh, it's like your, I love that one. It's gorgeous to me. And it mixes great mm. with um, sand swept. But 
Yeah, I always like Atlantic Air also. Uh, one of my all-time favorites, Rainbow Sherbert. Sherbet, if you pronounce it the way it's spelled, but um, everyone here says Sherbert. Or <laughs> no, it's Sherbert. Okay. Oh. Oh, I love I love Rainbow Sherbert. It's got that tart lime scent. It's very authentic, like you're eating it. Mostly the raspberry part of the sherbet. Yeah. The orange is my personal favorite. <laughs> Then nice. lime and then the raspberry. I'm not a huge raspberry eating. In general, yeah. You're not, ice yeah. sherbet fan. Mm -hmm. No horror color. <laughs> um, I love all colors except raspberry. Uh, but it looks good on me, so I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Iridescent pearl. To me, it's the like a mermaid. It's like sweet. There's oh one one is under the table. <laughs> it's like creamy, sweet, lovely. I get good performance. It's it's a nice medium performer here. I love that one. This is very nice. Very pretty. And because I don't trust it, because a lot of people complain about the performance, I always club that one. <laughs> um, very recent Bring Back My Bar Hendrix. Oh, it smells like satin sheets with like a hint of patchouli, and I love it. Yeah, it is he very loves that one. This is very good. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. So I didn't save Sand Swept, I saved that one. I've been a Hendrix fan from way back. That's why there's the patchouli in it. <laughs> Lucky in love. Very recent. Bring back my bar. Um, smells like a dupe for Victoria's Secret love spell. I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. Brings back lots yeah, of Yeah, you always love the love, love spell. Yeah. When we first got together, I used to drag him to Victoria's Secret and buy lots of love spell body lotion. No until they Body cream until they changed the formula. And now I break out in hives. <laughs> Um, sugar, fairly recent, bring back my bar. It smells like Aqualina pink sugar. It's a dupe, love. <laughs> You'll find I like a lot of perfumey ones that are dupes. Very, very pretty. This has currently been going in our bedroom for, this is the second week. Yeah. And it's still performing well, but that's because in my bedroom that is typically difficult to scent, I do, I do the whole bar. I do four cubes in my polar panorama, four cubes in my diamond milk glass warmer, and I get a long, in their element warmers, and I get a long, strong, well, a long, prolonged um, scent throw from it. And literally this is week two and it still smells amazing. Blue hyacinth. And I love this one. But again, I love florals. <laughs> I think that's one of the unique things about some of the oh yeah this is beautiful for sure some of the uh the sensi scents uh is performance you can buy cheap wax and smell it for an hour you get something like this yeah in two weeks yeah no. now that's i i don't even get that long of a performance with snuggle up when i do that method and i only really do that method in my bedroom Although I'll do a whole bar in this downstairs and I'll do a whole bar in Gingy's room in the bathroom combined um, and a whole bar in our bedroom. So I'll do three bars when I, you know, when I, between all my warmers. So it's just this one in particular, it's still going long and strong. It's still very nice medium performance, I would say, in, into week two. Like this is the middle of week two. Um, and then strawberry swirl, fairly recent, bring back my bar, smells like a strawberry milkshake. I personally actually get, um, frozen strawberries Definitely. from that. But I can see the strawberry milkshake if it's, if it's a really oh, yeah. good one. It's got that know. creamy milk. It does. Hmm. Oh, I so know we're, sense. we're about halfway right now, <laughs> just to let y'all know. Uh, we've got some great bars coming up, but when do you think we might do the record the Christmas music? Tomorrow? Yeah, I think we could do it tomorrow. We can tomorrow. record it tonight and then you could, I can post it tomorrow. No, I want to practice more okay, first, well, so tomorrow. we can record it tomorrow <laughs> and post it. But we're going to go through traditional public domain Christmas carols um, to, as, as a musical gift to you. Just so, for fun. Yeah, it'll be for fun, yeah, for sure. No grandma got run over by a reindeer. No, please. No, nothing. <laughs> I don't like stuff like that. <laughs> I'm so serious. I don't know. Um, Bora Bora Blossom, another floral. <laughs> recent, fairly recent, bring back my bar. Oh, to me, it reminds me of showered in flowers. 
but I kept that one over showered in flowers. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they're very similar to me. Um, and then one of the one of the very first bars I've ever saved. It's been in my club since Jack's Obsession. Um, oh, it's like it's, but it's like a bright green apple and cinnamon. It's the best cinnamon apple to me personally. This is just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I've always liked this one from the very first. Yeah, Jack's Obsession. It's absolutely beautiful. And this was in the Easter collection. It's been in my club ever since. Don't love it on its own. Love it as a mixer. Toasted marshmallow. Um, I get a weird note when I melt it on its own. But I really do love it as a mixer. So it's still in my club for now. Yep. Yep. Toasted marshmallow. One, I'm glad I was smart and saved, although... It, um, this coming year, maybe in August, I think, um, Disney's releasing a movie, so we may see this return, possibly. Um, Disney's Haunted Mansion. Oh, it smells like French, fresh French baked bread. Oh my gosh, with like some melted butter and like a dash of cinnamon. It's amazing. I'm obsessed with that one. This is really good. I haven't had luck mixing it. I only do that one on its own. Because when I've mixed it, I, I only smell the cinnamon. I'm like, what is that? Mm. I don't smell the bread. Mm. Disappointing. But um, the only one that survived from the Glamorous You collection, Sweet But Fierce, but again, it was the most floral. <laughs> oh, I get like a slight suntan lotion vibe from that one. It's gorgeous. <sighs> Love. You're probably not a huge fan. <laughs> he thinks he doesn't so much love florals, and then I melt and then them, she and then melts he loves them. them. Yeah, He's like, what is this? This is very, very nice. nice. Yeah. In fact, I think that most of the time when I really notice it, that it's those that I notice. I like when I walk in the house. And do you like the one me. in our bedroom? Or? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, the blue hyacinth. Yeah, Amazing. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Hyacinth, right? Yeah. Hyacinth? I, so. I don't know. Sometimes I call it something different. Ooh, hydrangea, sometimes I say. Because in my head, I picture hydrangea is not the actual hyacinth that looked mm. like lilac. Okay, this is um, like the first collection bar that, and licensed bar that I, well, besides Jack's Obsession, I put them in my club at the same time. Um, this is Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Oh, it reminds me of like a mix between Be Fabulous and Lucky in Love, and I just love it. <laughs> Yeah, this is beautiful. It stayed in my club because I love, love, love it. Mm. I enjoy the other two. I don't love them as much as that one. I guess that's why I'm liking everything because these are the ones that you actually really like and so you got them. Yeah. You didn't get any of those bad ones. <laughs> there aren't very many. <laughs> You're super funny. Um, and then we'll see. I've got the... I've got some... I've got the Buttercream collection. What do you... Sensperations. I've got the... European soccer, um, Snow White, and Frozen that I've never smelled. So we're going to go to a couple more here. Um, this is the Walt Disney 50th anniversary iridescent bar. It reminds me so much of Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume, and I love that one. Someone said it, and I was like, oh, I I'm getting it, and I love that. Gingy's already singing Christmas carols up there, upstairs. <laughs> He's a vocal If you pet. happen to hear that. He's very vocal. This is nice. I love very that one. Very lovely, very lovely. Very <laughs> lovely. Um, I have two um, that I that has survived from the Catching Seas collection. Um, love that collection so much. I would have saved them all, but a couple of them were light for me. So, um, Pillow Time. Love this one. But this has blue tansy oil, and I love blue tansy oil from doTERRA, um, and I love that. It's very soothing and calming to me, but it's floral. <laughs> okay. Puts me right to sleep. <laughs> and then my favorite, I think my favorite all-time ever Scentsy Wax Bar, um, Snuggle Up. Oh. 
I am obsessed with that bar. <laughs> it's like jammy time and fuzzy blanket and I don't know woolly slippers, but people have said woolly slippers. Oh, I'm obsessed. Very, very nice. Has like a hint of like stargazing, like the prettiness of stargazing, but a lot of people don't love stargazing, which is weird. Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. It was a holiday, but one of the first holiday bricks um, when I started. It's been in my club since. It's like an Andes mint, but it's creamy and lovely cocoa, oh, and I love that one. This is really nice. Yeah. I really like that. Marshmallow Mint Cocoa. <laughs> um, and then from the Moment by Moment collection, the only one that survived for me is down the aisle and it's the floral <laughs> but to me it's a beautiful fresh clean floral and i love it yeah this is really i'm nice. obsessed with the fruity floral like i would wear that as perfume look <laughs> um and then this was a father's day bar made it to catalog and now they discontinued it and I'm pretty sure it's not coming back. So it's in my club currently, my hero. I'm not a huge masculine scent fan, but uh, that kind of reminds me of my dentist. Um, and he passed away from cancer, but he took care of me since I was a tater tot. You mean the cologne that he wore? Uh, yeah. More, yeah, not the smell Maybe of the, the soap, office. it's almost got like a soap smell too. So maybe that's the soap that he showered with. And I feel like I should know what soap that is. Is it Zest? I think it might be. It might be Zest soap. It's been so long since we used regular Yeah, I'm soap. allergic to soap. <laughs> that's why I like to use stuff that doesn't have tallow. Because I found out I'm allergic to tallow, which is boiled animal carcasses. And it's just a cheap filler. <laughs> so. Yeah, it, I think it's Zest soap. And that must be what he, maybe not even cologne. Maybe that's what he showered with. I love that one. It just brings back memories. And I don't like the dentist, but he was the nicest guy. Um, and the St. Knickerdoodle <coughs> from the current sense of the season. It's my favorite one. It's like a crumble, crumble cookie. It's like the apple, caramel, apple, cinnamon. Yes. Crumble cookie with the cream cheese icing. <laughs> Brett, Brett and... Brett and mm. Brad would know because they have a crumble near them. <laughs> oh. My only experience with crumble cookie, Wichita. and it reminded me of Brett and Brad. They did a, a vlog and it, they had crumble cookie. <laughs> it's in my watch later list because I was like, ooh, crumble cookie, and I still haven't watched it yet. So I, I actually ran out of room on watch later. <laughs> so I have to actually go through those now. Um, this one's probably going to get the boot just because if I need room, sheer leather. I do love this one. It reminds me of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce cologne. Yes, it is. And it's a lighter scent. Um, it's just, since he has done so much cologne lately that I'm kind of maxed out on it. And that one, if I need room, that'll probably go. Um, this has been in my club. One of the first bring back my bars, painted leaves. To me, it's like fresh autumn leaves in the air. <clears throat> And it's not the dead leaves, it's like no. yellow and orange leaves. Mm. A little bit of like a wet rain kind of ground scent. It's beautiful. It is. Um, and then I put in my club, um, this reminds me of fr my friend from the UK, Lee Harding, um, scented with Lee YouTube. Um, he really likes Disney Season of Magic. Um, it's not wonderful enough to club, but I do really like it. It's like tree and sugar, like sugar. This is nice. I like this one too. I mean, it's fun to do when it comes out, but I don't necessarily need it in my club. Yeah. I do really enjoy that one though. Okay, so for the bars I've never smelled. <laughs> Here da, we go. Da, da, da. We've got the European Soccer, and I'm pretty sure I've heard people review these and they're all cologne. So I'm pretty sure... I'm really gonna like maybe these two and not so much these two. So, and you know these two, I don't, and it's football with an F-U-T. That's how it's spelled in the rest of the world. And it's technically soccer. <laughs> it is soccer. Yeah, so. And there's a story behind it, but we won't go into it because actually soccer is the international word for it. 
but football is what it got named. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah. watch soccer. In Europe and other parts of the world. But soccer has become huge. It's the, like the number one sport all over the planet. And the only reason why I watch U.S. Um, football is because of Tom Brady. If it wasn't for Tom Brady, <laughs> I probably wouldn't even care about it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this first one is Arsenal. That's your favorite team, right? Or your favorite one? Yeah, I think Arsenal's, yeah. Don't be offended if it's not yours. I actually don't mind this. It reminds me of Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath. And because that reminds me of my childhood, I may end up That's keeping cool. it. Doesn't it freaking smell like Mr. Yeah. Bubble Bubble Bath? I love Mr. Uh, Bubble Bubble really Bath. It's really good, yeah. Or like when you're a kid and you use the soap crayons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, oh. <laughs> just had to do that, didn't, didn't Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath. Nobody <laughs> likes this. I really kind of like it. <laughs> okay, well, that reminds me of my childhood. I like that one. So we'll see you on warm. I don't think I'm going to like this one. This <laughs> is by the way people describe it. Um, this is Chelsea. It has the same kind of a note that the one Harry Potter bar has, Ravenclaw. It reminds me of Harry Potter Ravenclaw and what it smells like, that weird note in it to me, it smells like someone with a dental issue that needs to get their filling, needs needs a filling or like a cavity filled. <laughs> like, you know, when people, you can tell when people need dental work done because you're like, you smell. <laughs> Sorry about all this. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's what that has. And Ravenclaw has the same thing. It's got the dental issue note. No. I mean, I'll melt it, but I'm not really excited. I kind of liked it. Like, what? Mm. Yeah. Maybe it'll go away when it's warming. I don't know. It's pretty, too. <laughs> yeah, the colors are nice. Um, and then this one is Barca, I assume, from Barcelona, maybe. Barca. Yeah, I'm not quite that familiar with that. Probably. No, it smells like this one. They, if I didn't, I did it. I think they smell the same. What the hell? Let me do it first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> they both have that weird dental note. I don't like. What is that ingredient that I don't like? They're really similar. And we gotta get Ravenclaw out too. <laughs> I don't hate the ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't hate them. But if I didn't know any better, I think they're the same thing bar. I can't smell a difference between Barca and Chelsea. I don't know. Okay, Liverpool. It's oh I'm sorry, LFC but Liverpool and it's what are you doing? I'm getting the stacks even. Oh. Um <laughs> it's the one that everybody seemed to like. I love the white, the red. That's fun. Oh, I do like this one. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, that could be a club one. Ooh, that's kind of sexy. Thank you. It's clean. It's fresh. It's slightly aquatic. I love that one. Mm -hmm. I really kind of love that one. And here I didn't think I'd club any of those. Hmm. Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath and Sexy. We'll take that one. <laughs> we'll take those. Yeah, what are they? Mm -hmm. Arsenal and LFC. LFC. I'm liking those. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Do, 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 do. It is Liverpool. Uh, I know, because I heard people say it, and Dan Orchard oh, okay. said it, too. Cool. I pay attention. It's good. <laughs> when the Sensi CEOs talk, I pay attention. I know you do. <laughs> but, <Mostly>. um, <laughs> Snow White, um, Kind Heart. I'm anxious because it's floral, and I, I do love floral. A good floral. Oh. It smells a little like hot cocoa. <laughs> You guys get floral? Oh, maybe a little more on the bottom. I like it. It's 
Lately get raspberry hot cocoa. Am I the only person that drinks raspberry hot cocoa? No one has said that. Do you get raspberry hot cocoa? <laughs> or am I weird? I'm probably just weird. It's fine. I it's... know you put that in my head. No, I <laughs> it smells like raspberry hot cocoa powder. Mm. I drink a lot of raspberry hot cocoa. Love raspberry hot cocoa. I really like this. Walmart has like the single packets. Who makes those? What? They're really good. <laughs> this is really good. I actually kind of like it. It didn't, doesn't smell anything like mm. I thought it would. Yeah. I get raspberry hot cocoa. <laughs> but I want to smell it again. <laughs> Stop wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I'm sorry, I can't unsmell raspberry hot cocoa. Well, I'm anxious to see how that warms because I still get raspberry hot cocoa. Okay, weird. Um, the North Calls, Frozen. I was not, in, wasn't even aware that Scentsy it had stuff like this. Um, so this was before my Scentsy time, so I'm anxious to smell it. Ooh, that's amazing. That's a club one. Doggone it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking good for you, sugar leather. Because I love this one more. This is amazing. I love bars like this. It's very perfumey, body care, sweet. Oh, that's amazing. That's utterly amazing. Amazing. It's like a candy sweet. Mm. Yummy. I like body it's, care. It is really good. Freaking amazing. I'd wear that as perfume too. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. That's amazing. I'm keeping that very one. Nice. Dang. All right. <laughs> so the buttercream collection, because the consultant <laughs> kit sold out before I could get my hands on it, because I was waiting to save money on shipping for a friend at work to order. <laughs> Missed it. Then it came back and I didn't jump right on it like the second it came back in stock and I missed it again and I'm like, fine. So I threw it in my December um, Scentsy Club. I do not have vanilla bean buttercream in this in this one, um, but that's like my one of my all time favorite bakery <laughs> bars. But um, this first one is caramel buttercream. So I'm anxious to smell them. This is wonderful. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's like a caramel butter scotch. Mm -hmm. oh, I love buttercream. Mm. I love it. Me too. This oh. is really nice. I have a feeling we might have decent performance. Oh, look, they're all in a pile with Polly. Are they nursing? I don't know. I think they're nursing. Yeah. They're all nursing on Polly. <laughs> oh, I mean, so just her cute. kittens. Well, obviously, <laughs> she has three kittens, and they're just laying there all in a row nursing on her. They are. They they could be weaned at any yeah. point. They eat uh, regular food. Yeah. And drink water. So. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Um. But we. I didn't want them to freeze to death. They're super cute. Um. This is gingerbread buttercream. I'm anxious to smell this one. Oh, I love That's this. That's another really good one. It gives me caramel chestnut vibes. I'm willing to bet if you did caramel mm. chestnut and vanilla bean buttercream, you would get this. I 100% get caramel mm. chestnut. It's really good. It smells almost identical to caramel chestnut to me. Does anyone else smell caramel chestnut when you smell this? The holiday brick. Okay, someone tell me. Oh my word. Not that, but I have caramel chestnut in my club, so I, I probably don't need to say that. We'll see. Um, and maybe I'll do one in one room and one in the other, and we'll see how different they are, but I'm pretty sure they're the same. Mm -hmm. Aw, too bad to come off. Um, Sensi, Sensi? <laughs> the Sensi Sensperations, the candy cane buttercream. Pretty sure this will be my personal favorite. Yeah. Anything that smells like a buttermint. OMG. Just it's literally like the hard butter mints you get at like almost every single wedding. They're like pastel color. That's where I'm smelling that from. 
But I make homemade butter mints yeah. with cream cheese and peppermint um, yeah. essential oil. Peppermint um, oh, no. extract. <laughs> well, you could use doTERRA. <laughs> they make, there's some of theirs for consumption. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I'm obsessed. It smells just like my homemade butter mints. This is, I think this is my yeah. favorite out of all of them that we've yeah. seen. Well, this I don't really know, the North Calls, I'm really loving that one. Yeah. Yeah, but mm, I think I like this one better. Amazing. Let's try that one, Sam. That'd be amazing in the bedroom. Yeah, I still think I like this one better. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Kind of like a sweet tart candy. With like some floral perfume. It's kind of like down the aisle and sweet tarts. <laughs> I just love that one. Iridescent. I love this one. Haven't warmed it because the bar that I had, I gave to my friend. Because she loves um, Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume. Um, she thought it smelled like it too. No, no, no. No. Yeah, Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath. I <laughs> really love in Mr. Bubble Bubble Bath. What is that? Arsenal. Nobody likes Arsenal? I do. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> oh, Liverpool. I love Liverpool. Wait. Slightly powdery. That's good. That's that's good. That's good. If if guys smell like that, yum. <laughs> Excuse me? Guys, people are describing it like a men's locker room. I'm like, I'll take that man. <laughs> Excuse me. And that man. <laughs> Excuse me? I like the red guys. <laughs> They're my favorites. <laughs> yeah. You're just being silly now. Anyways. <laughs> okay, December with box. I already know it's in it because um, now I'm just trying to... Cause I want to get some bricks and I'm like, do I want this? Oh, I did because I knew something was in it. So if you don't want to be spoiled, Merry Christmas. We love you. Here's our tree. Um, it's behind us. Yeah. And because they were outdoor cats, sometimes they think that's snow and they should go to the bathroom in it. <laughs> so I washed it, but just for the video, I put it down there again so you could see it, but I'll be picking that right back up. <laughs> And you might wonder why there are no presents under the tree, but it's because we're on the naughty list. <laughs> no. You are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, Cassie was home last week, and so we did our Christmas early as far as gifts and so forth. So that's why it's all empty now. We're enjoying the <laughs> gifts. But Santa, you know, he could still come, but I'm not on the naughty list, so... We had Christmas, and so we're just going to enjoy yeah, the day. Watch yeah. some Hallmark Christmas movies. Yes, definitely. Regular Christmas movies. I always, every year, um, I don't know about you, but my I'm pretty sure I know what your favorite Christmas movie is, and it's one of the ones I hate. No, <laughs> you're wrong. My favorite Christmas movie is The Muppet Christmas Carol. And I love that too, but It's a Wonderful Life is my favorite. Oh. It always has been. What's it's your second favorite? You think I like Christmas Vacation. I just think it's funny. I hate it's it. It's not like a favorite movie. I hate that movie. <laughs> I hate that and Christmas Story. Please don't be offended if you love them. I just if think you they're do, dumb. Yeah. Yeah. I've never Christmas actually Story's seen it. Christmas Story's kind of cool. It reminds me of when I was a kid. So. I've never actually seen it. I saw enough clips that I'm like, no, not my thing. <laughs> never actually seen it. I'm more of, I do love It's a Wonderful Life, Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah, me too. The original Christmas Carol, the Jim Carrey Christmas Carol. Yeah, that's good. The Muppets. Muppets. Is the, that's my favorite of the Christmas Carol movies. Yeah. Um, I like a lot of the animated Frosty, the No Grinch. Reason to Cry, Jim, The Grinch. Yeah. Um, I prefer the the cartoon version, but <laughs> the claymation like Santa Claus is coming to town, <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman. I know, it makes me cry. <laughs> I cry every time he melts. I don't like it. It's sad. No, that's a wonderful. Life has always been my favorite. 
always been my favorite movie. Yeah, I love Jimmy Stewart. So I like it. Yeah. It's, I my favorite thing is the Christmas Carol. So yeah. So Merry Christmas. We love you. If you don't want to see this, but if you do, <laughs> here it comes. Thank you for watching. So it looks like this. I'm sure you've seen this. Dale will read this lovely thing to you. The holiday season is wrapping up, but that doesn't mean you have to put away the treats, just as this season is filled with days of coming together to eat delicious meals and scrumptious desserts with your loved ones. Your December Whiff box is full of fun products and sweet fragrances sure to inspire you to keep the festivities going. And by the way, you're eating delicious meals and scrumptious desserts with your family, not don't eat your family. I was just reading that and it came out sounding funny to me. <laughs> if I read that line. Way to make it dark, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Tim Burton Christmas movie. Yeah, or like uh, Grimm's Christmas Tales. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, ooh, you. no. Ah. Uh, unless Sorry. you love them, then that's fine. That's No worries. No. Anyway, <laughs> that, that, that's What's the whiff box. I there are words inside. Oh. Uh, hey. This is kind of cool. I can actually read this. Caliente means hot. So, chocolate, uh, caliente, casero. I say it very American. My apologies. I have no finesse with speaking Spanish, although I like Spanish just fine. Oh, yeah. no, it's chocolate. Oh, I'm sorry. I was saying that the French way. Chocolat yeah, is French. French. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. And if you've never seen the movie Chocolat with Johnny Depp, it's really good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Johnny's a cutie. <laughs> He's but my favorite Johnny Depp character. Well, okay, that's not true. What is the movie? Sorry, one sec. What is the movie with um where he plays John Dillinger? Public Enemies. Oh, Public Enemy. He's so stinking. Mm -hmm horrible in that movie like he's got like the queen i like i like him in from hell love from hell yeah, that's a <laughs> that's really good movie what they think the theory of jack the ripper that's amazing it's one of the theories yeah. love that one too but he likes opium a little too much <laughs> makes him see psychically but anyway like it at all it's probably too much yeah um and if you don't like gore don't watch how fun it's jack the ripper hello um Johnny is not Jack the Ripper. Anyways, long story wait, short. Wait. Oh. The I best Johnny reading. Depp movie, or the best Johnny Depp character ever is like Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> like, hello, Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, all the Pirates stuff. Yeah, I love yeah, Johnny. And the worst Johnny Depp movie? <sighs> Dark Shadows. Like, or the, Sweeney Todd. Or the courtroom scene that we just all saw OMG. forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. So, but it has recipes. Yeah, yeah. hot chocolate. Homemade hot, hot chocolate. chocolate yeah. I'll be clipping that out and saying that. Yeah, yeah. So, that's good. Anyway, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, hint, hint. See how this has been in my club since it was the scent of the season? There's the new marshmallow mint hot cocoa mm. for anyone that's never experienced it. Does that mean it might come out in the next catalog? This is in the UK. This is currently a UK catalog scent, just so you know. It smells just That's like this. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. It smells just like it. I like to look, when their catalog comes out, I like to go look at their catalog and be like, oh, they have this and they have that. And when Lee and I trade, yeah, it's fun. Well, that, and that's another <laughs> cool part about Scentsy is it's really given, a, it, there are international relationships that have happened as a result of, especially all the YouTubers and the, and just some wonderful people out there. It's just so much fun to watch some of the other, the other folks. It's in Australia and Canada and UK, Wales. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> neat. Yeah. So, um, yeah, marshmallow and cocoa. <laughs> So that was, that's 60 bars. So this will make 61. <laughs> um, and this is Korean apple crumble. I actually really enjoy this one. I get like the brown sugar crumble and the actual Korean apple, cranberry apple. I get that. I love that one. 
Um, I'm super excited. This is a vanilla bean buttercream, mm. which why doesn't it have that on there anymore? <laughs> Maybe it's old. Um, a vanilla bean buttercream fragrance flower in the buttercup bell. Yeah. Super excited. I love vanilla bean buttercream. I told you that's like one of my all-time favorites. I cannot wait to get another brick. I blew through two bricks and I need another one and sugar cookie and Jamie time. <laughs> Um, coconut daiquiri hand cream. I kind of hate the hand cream <laughs> formula. The body cream is amazing. It smells like banana. Amazing body care. It's coconut milk, banana, oh, sorry. sorry, and vanilla cream. It's like banana pudding body care. <laughs> I love it. I'm about that. You like that shower gel when we yeah. had it. Nope. Um, and they've they've done different paper. I'm okay with that. I kind of like it. Yeah. I don't want to be the person who works for Sensi and makes these. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sensi, you want to hire me? Uh, well, I don't really want to move, so <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Unless you got got a place in Maine. Yeah, making those isn't a work from home. <laughs> no. Um, and then this is not the scent of the month. You guys already know it's pineapple rose. Thank goodness I don't have a scent. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm not really about that one. <laughs> I hate rose stuff now. <laughs> Thank you, Sensi, for ruining that one for me. Um, and so help me if this is the year of the rose, because one of the Valentine's ones has rose, the oils have rose, pineapple rose, scent of the month. I'm like, really? <laughs> not okay with this. <laughs> um, this happens to be pineapple, no. <laughs> Mango, isn't it? Mango yeah. margarita. Um, Holly's had enough. She's like, you guys have suckled long enough. <laughs> I personally think this could be a new catalog scent or um, like a maybe summer collection. <laughs> that one's like, you come back here, mom. <laughs> She's on a chair and it's quiet. You might not be able to hear sorry. this and we're sorry to be distracted, but it's uh, it's actually rather comical to watch them sometimes. They're really funny. I scroll a lot. <laughs> It'll tell you. In this case, it's kitten a lot. Okay, so this almost reminds me of like candy. Like maybe a pineapple candy. It reminds me a lot of um, pineapple mango from the catalog. Isn't it pineapple? Yeah. That was my favorite, I think. That and Summer Moonlight were my favorite scent of new scents. But that's like candy to me. Um, in fact, if I didn't know better, I'd think that's pineapple mango. That's very nice. That's amazing. Mm. It really is. But mm. It smells so much like it. That's very like a, a candy, like pineapple candy, right? Like it smells like candy. a drink, like a drink to me. You I get like a drink. A drink. Yeah. Is it psychosomatic because any, it says margarito? Margarito. I don't smell any alcohol in the margarita or margarita if you come from your part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Margaritoville. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> <Touch. laughs> I don't know. I get a candy. A margarito, though. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Minus the jigger of Hey, salt. I don't have wax on my nose. <laughs> no, that's, I was going to ask you. Yeah, you've done really well. Last video, two two thirds in, wax on my nose the entire... And she didn't know until she's watching the video. I'm like, back. it'll be fine. I upload it, and then I watch it back, and I'm like, oh, dear God. It was, it was just fine until <laughs> you turned sideways, and it, like... Start off your nose. God seriously likes to keep me humble. <laughs> There's no thinking I'm all that in a slice of pie because who can ever think that but with this are. giant piece You're of wax that. on my You're nose? All like that in a slice of wax. The last third of my video. It's awesome. <laughs> and I couldn't <laughs> yeah, even. It was funny. She laughed at herself. Oh my God. It is you so have to laugh at yourself, you know? So embarrassing. Okay. Well, that's our video for this evening. For this evening. So we're gonna 
th this is wonderful. It's just a lot of great sense. Um, I gotta reevaluate my club. Um, I'll be ordering Bring Back My Bar Valentine's, hopefully tonight. <laughs> um, and then those will be coming. That'll be so much fun. Maybe by the end of the year. Um, I don't know. I don't think the shipping people are gonna be in there from the from Christmas till the beginning of the year. Mm. Okay, it's not looking good for me, but <laughs> it'll be fine. You'll see us eventually. It'll all be fine. I don't think we're gonna lack for wax. No. no. <laughs> I only sold like a third of what I wanted to, so I brought home a whole bunch. <laughs> um, so. Oh, at the sale at, at your work. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I got lots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vend if vendor, I don't know what the rest of you experience, but vendor shows and that kind of thing have not, not been here. real productive in our area. We, we've done them for years and uh, they aren't that productive, no. but, but we appreciate, it it. <laughs> we appreciate all of her customers and, and people that just really, because this is such a great product. It just is. It's, it's a great product. And I think that people really like it. You know, so, but we'll shoot the Christmas Carol video and then when she ups, uploads it and you get your notification, you know, make sure you've hit the notification button for this channel and, uh, and you'll get notified of that. Then get your hot chocolate and, and, uh, hang out and watch and it whenever you can, whenever you can make it a part, maybe make it a part of your, your, uh, holiday experience and, and maybe we can do it so that um, you're sitting against the fireplace with like the fireplace on the TV. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure all that out. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. We'll have a crackling fireplace over top of us and <laughs> one that doesn't crackle on the bottom because it's not, it's a fake fireplace. Here, if you lean this way, mm, it just right. has candles. There it is. <laughs> Remote control candles. So. But it feels like Christmas in our home and all of the remodeling that mm -hmm. Melissa has done, the painting, and like all of this, um, it just feels really good here. It feels very homey. And, but we're, we're really glad to be, uh, we're glad that you watch and that you, you're part of this. And uh, uh, we, I, we get a lot of musical requests and we have over time as far as my ability to play. The only thing I have to be careful of is anything that's a copyrighted thing. So I can do my original, all of my original music and some of the other stuff that's public domain. And as long as we mention what the songs are, then we're good. Well, mm -hmm. and if I monetize it, they take whatever. You know <laughs> it's this fine. if you have a YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. So it's fine. Like yeah. they can have the, I just play it for you guys for fun. Mm -hmm. um, and if the people make the money and stuff. I don't even make money because I didn't have uploaded my taxes. For you know monetizing. something funny that happened? I, I, I follow this one. Uh, I watch this one channel with this guitar teacher, and he's about my age, and, and he's really very good teacher, very good instructor. But he all of a sudden got notified by YouTube that there was a problem with copyright infringement and so forth on a song that he did, and it was a song that he wrote and copyrighted himself. But you can fight that. <laughs> and they straightened it out finally. But he said that was pretty funny to get notified that he had a monetization problem with a song that he wrote and published himself. <laughs> so it can happen, you know. <laughs> At least they're watching out for the songwriters, and that's good. Yeah. So, all right, guys. If um, we'll maybe see you tomorrow, and if not, Merry Christmas. Yeah, and Merry Christmas this coming Sunday. We're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs. What are you eating? I I actually make my grandma's lasagna on our actual Christmas. <laughs> for our celebration, yeah. And I'm so. making spaghetti and meatballs for this on Christmas Day. This my son really loves <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Peace.